I'm Deborah Rowland, and I'm a consultant, writer, speaker, and teacher in the field of leading change. Now, how did I get into this field of leading change? Well, I can say that my life began in change, the ultimate change, when at six weeks old, I was adopted and handed over into the hugely loving embrace of the Roland family. I was born a Wendy Juliet, I became a Deborah Ann. Since that cataclysmic change in my life, I don't think any change has felt insurmountable. What did it mean as I was growing up? As an adopted child, I had both detachment and curiosity. Detachment as I felt that I wasn't completely in with this family, and yet I desperately wanted to belong. At the same time, I was very curious about human systems. And this combination of both being detached and at the same time curious took me into the field of anthropology, which I studied at university, a subject I absolutely loved. In particular, it teaches you about how to have an acute observational capacity for human systems in a very non-judgmental way. It gave me an ability to see systems and how they form over time, their routines, their rituals. And guess what? Anthropology can apply equally well in the workplace or indeed with whole nations. We are all part of a tribal culture in some way. So I took the parts of me that were formed through my adoption and indeed through my mind with anthropology into the field of leading change. And I guess you could say I'm a pioneer in the field. Over the last 15 years, I have led two major rounds of research into the whole aspect of how do you successfully lead change in today's uncertain, complex, disruptive world. And I feel that's very important because the field of leading change can be extraordinarily fluffy and ungrounded. So my passion right now is to help any human system, be that a company, be that a government, be that a charity, or indeed be that a church institution, in how to grapple with the big issues facing change in today's uncertain, disruptive world. My research has shown that leadership makes a huge difference. And more than that, I've actually been in the field myself, be that the BBC or Gucci, PepsiCo and also Shell. I've actually led change myself in the field. I've been there, I've got the scars. I know what not to do as well as what to do. So to summarize, what's the unique combination that I can actually bring this whole field? Well, I think it's a combination of my systemic thinking ability to study complex systems. It's also the passion and the heart I bring to this. Leading change can be led in such an easier way than when I see leaders struggling sometimes. And also, on the practical level, I've been there and done it myself. So I guess you could sum up by saying, Deborah Rowland, yes, head, heart, hands, she's nailed it in the whole field of leading change.